Texas. Today I'm on site with my dad. He's over here. He's been helping get ready to put the uh, support columns on the first floor decking up there. And I've been out here uh, getting all this wire lath ready to go on top of the foam. I've been talking for a while about the idea that I'm going to do a stucco surface on, a, on the surface of this foam here. And uh, to prepare the area for that, I'm putting up this wire lath and uh, using some uh, uh, Tapcon screws to, to go into here. I've been waiting to do it for a while because my dad has a hammer drill and it took a little bit for us to get the right bit for it. Uh, I, I, I bought a bit, but I bought it the wrong size. I don't know how that happened. It, I don't know. <laughs> I made a mistake and then he, he grabbed one, but it didn't have the right back on it or something like that. So we finally got all the stuff that we need today. So I'm getting all this stuff uh, ready. And the way that I'm doing it is uh, taking this wire lath and this is, uh, I think, two by eight foot sheets. I had these delivered from Home Depot way a while ago all right and they came damaged which is why this one's a little bit wonky you can see down at the bottom it's a little bit bent up uh, it took them forever to deliver them they stood me up four times and then when they finally brought the stuff it was damaged so you know I know I'd say you get get what you pay for but I mean I didn't get a discount on it or anything uh, the way that uh, I'm putting this on here is I'm taking these roofing nails. These are like you know, one inch, one and a quarter inch roofing nails. Uh, they've got a, a large head on the back side and I'm sticking them through the wire lath uh, and into the foam. And I'm doing it kind of random angles. And the idea he here is that once you put the stucco on the surface, these are all going to get rigidized and it's going to be like teeth holding them into the... Uh, holding them into the foam. So I'm putting some going in one direction, some going in the other direction to make it uh, just very resilient from uh, the idea of getting pulled out. I'm spacing them out maybe, I don't know, six inches or so from each other, just kind of doing a random pattern. They don't have to be any specific orientation or anything like that. I guess to some degree more is better, but also to some degree when you get too many, it's just unnecessary. So I'm doing one every six inches or so. And again, these are going to be working in, in conjunction with some Tapcon screws uh, that are going to get drilled actually into the concrete and really hold this whole surface up against the concrete. And we're going to be spacing those about, um, you know, foot and a half foot apart from each other. Going to do one row of screws at the top and one row of screws just slightly below the ground. And really the earth backfilling here is going to, uh, you know, really serve to kind of hold this whole thing together. Already, I'm sure you can start to see that just putting in these screws is starting to rigidize the whole thing. I mean, the, the foam's still floating out here, but in terms of uh, this floating off the surface, just putting these in at random zigzag angles. And I'm, uh, when I'm putting them in, I'm putting them right next to the joint in the metal, so they're, they're holding up, it up against there. And uh, I've got a little overlap between the two pieces here that's yeah. maybe an inch inch and a half of overlap. So I'm just continuing this all the way along here. As soon as I'm done with this and we get the Tapcon screws uh, in there really holding it up, obviously the next thing that I should be doing is getting the stucco on here uh, and then I can start backfilling. Unfortunately we don't have electricity on site yet. We have a generator but we don't have like electricity to run the well pump and everything. So I don't have easy access to water. Now I could lug it up from the stream over there, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of leave this trench open and hopefully within, you know, next couple weeks or so we can get electricity and then I can have access to water and I can mix the concrete stucco mix here. And I'll show you that when I do that. That's it. Thanks for watching.